In the art world, things are picking up. After the Royal Academy row, it might have been expected that younger bloods would pack up painting for good and take to something more profitable, but no such thing. There's no withholding that old creative urge. For weeks beforehand, boys and girls everywhere in town and country prepare for their own academy, Victory House London, setting for the annual children's art exhibition. Here the old controversy, modern versus classical, bursts out afresh as distinguished art critics like John Rothenstein, director of the Tate Gallery, select the entries for hanging. Even to expert eyes, it's hard to tell the youthful exuberances of the teenagers from the mature work of modern impressionists. But then, the diehards have always maintained that the reverse is also true. Either way, this year's exhibits mark a new high level of achievement. As usual, there's the last minute entrant who sat up all night to finish his picture in time. Plainly, a young artist steeped in the pre-Raphaelite tradition. Trees that look like trees. A painter after Academy President Munning's own heart. It's a place of honour for little Michael Munnings. It must be Gordon Richard's dream on Derby night. <laughs>